Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Tuesday morning, September 19th. We are looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES and NQ. So um, we said yesterday if we open up inside of, yes, uh, inside of uh, yesterday's range, you're going to get a tremendous amount of chop, right? There is nothing to lean on here in the ES or the SPY. All we had was the day's high and the day's low. We attempted to come out of the inside week twice to the downside. We'll see if they attempt again today. I think uh, I think there's a, almost a very, very slim uh, chance to come out of uh, an inside week to the upside today. So will we be in balance going into Fed Day tomorrow? Well, there's a good chance of it, but we'll see. We'll see if sellers do take out yesterday's low if they have any more energy. Um, they had zero yesterday. Um, NQ, pretty much the same thing, although they did have a nine wide point of control and K was an afternoon pullback. Look where their uh, overnight low is right now. And righty, remember, they finally took out the IB low in the last 10 minutes of the day. I'm going to still call them balance, okay? But they, again, if they take out today's low, I would definitely call the daily down on uh, righty and IWM today. Remember, IWM closed below the 200-day moving average. They closed with a bit of a small price probe, 10 wide pock, and an afternoon rally high. Game plan for this morning is patience. Plain and simple in the ES, okay? Um, depending on where the overnight high and overnight low end up, you could probably front run either one, right? Overnight high would be right near value high. Overnight low would be close to value low. Those are the only two plays I can see right now. Other than that, you're going to need more MGI um, as the market starts painting its picture in the first hour. NQ, again, they don't usually front run overnight highs or lows, but the overnight low is at a very, very visual area. So if you want to take the long against the overnight low and the pullback you can, I would be out right below it because by that point then value might be overlapping to lower. So that would be one play um, in NQ. Other than that, really, really, you're going to need patience. Trading is a lot about patience, my friends. Here's the uh, chart, the weekly double inside week. We barely took it out yesterday, got rejected. So including yesterday, we're in a four-week balance as of right now. And the daily is in a nine-day balance, right? So we'll see what happens. Remember, we still have a dividend gap above us in SPY um, from Friday morning. Good luck trading today. Thanks for the likes and subscribing to this channel. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.